Plump Goops podcast. Get a load of these hot takes at high stakes. Get a load of these hot takes at high stakes. Get a load of these hot takes at high stakes. Get a load of these hot takes at high stakes. Welcome back, everyone, to Hot Takes High Stakes, the greatest takes show that has ever been and ever will be. Yeah, We're there's, a lot, there's a lot of buzz about us. Is there, a lot what of have buzz. you been hearing on the streets? Oh, just only good things, only good things. Just we buzzing are, noises. Yeah. We are out. I mean, the cicadas are out. Thoughts? In mass. There in was mass. a cicada Volume. in my, a dead cicada in my driveway. Yeah, there are dead cicadas all around. I think it's, prob- that's what they're buzzing about, is us. We're killing yeah. them. We brought them out and... And now they're in our house. And we're <laughs> Do you get what's so? What's the deal with cicada shells? Because I see them everywhere. Do you guys really? see cicada shells I don't everywhere? See any anywhere? Maybe they're not in Austin. Cicadas? Do you not hear the buzzing? No. Maybe Austin's too too urban. Yeah. Yeah. You got to get more suburban. Yeah, they're out in the suburbs. They're out in the burbs. Let me tell you. And I, hear them in the I trees. think they're. <laughs> here's a little warm up take for you guys. Cicadas are. The creepiest animal that can't hurt you. Yeah, cockroaches. No, nah. cockroaches are more creepy than cicadas. I I don't I don't get the, like the dislike, the major dislike of cockroaches. I get they're like disgusting to look at, but like they they're don't huge. And but what? Some, they don't do some anything. some are bigger than others, Ronick. But David, have you ever had cockroaches? Well, not in my house. Actually, we found one um, one last week, but. My sister's cat was just murdering it. It was kind of cool, but like uh, I need a cat. When, then. when I worked at camp, there were a bunch of cockroaches sure. at Durham, and the kids would sure. flip out. Some of the counselors would flip out, and I just go get a paper towel and go throw it outside. Like I didn't even want to kill it. I don't, right? I don't, well, no, I don't that's fair. I don't kill them because the fucking noise I imagine of me like scrunching one of them is just <laughs> so everything so. about them disgusts you. <laughs> Well, like killing them is like my least favorite option because, like, I like we've talked about this before. I think with like Woolsey and Woolsey was like, yeah, I hate cockroaches because I killed one once and the sound was just disgusting. Mm. And I like trapped one in a cup once. It was in our like our, our my old apartment, and it was literally sounded like it was screaming. Like it was just <laughs> well, you fucking... were suffocating it, right? No, I was just I, like, what I, I do know. is like I trap it in a cup and then I take it out to my balcony and then I just like oh. flick it off, my, like flick it off the balcony. <laughs> Cause I killed a bee so once by just putting, so you give it a Mufasa it. death as opposed to a crush death. <laughs> well, I, I imagine that cockroaches can survive falls of any height. I think so. so. I think so. What were you saying, David? I once killed a bee in my house by putting a cup over it and watching it suffocate. Oh my god. god. Well, my dad, whenever like, I at least wasp, bees hurt you. <laughs> yeah. In, in our neighborhood, or not in the neighborhood, in my like home in South Lake, like if there's like a wasp or something, my dad mm-hmm. just gets like a vacuum and like it's like one of those Dyson ones with like a, like the Whoa. detachable, like, yes. you know, and he just like sucks it into the vacuum and then you just like see it in like the, like the where all the dust is collected and it's just like amazing. dying. That's such a good idea, actually. I just had a wasp in my house. You were just yeah. discussing we, how to kill it. <laughs> right. I was talking to David about this, but we have one of those wasp killer things that shoots like a spray of poison, like oh, 60 shit. feet, because it's designed to get wasps that are like up in your roof. Yeah, yeah. Right? And we were like, this is all we have. So he shot it in the house. Oh, no. It made such a mess. And on the can, it literally says, do not, use do not spray indoors. <laughs> or it says, never spray indoors. <laughs> <laughs> we were like, we have to kill this wasp. Um, oh, no. I think, yeah, I have such a fear of wasps. But yeah. roaches, David, if you've never had, like, I've had, like, roaches. Like, there's a difference between having a roach and having roaches yeah. where you live. And it's really bad. It's, like, really bad to have. We have ants. Um, I hate, I hate that. Ants suck, yeah. yeah. Apparently in New York, you just have to, like, deal with, in, like, Manhattan, you just have to, like, deal with roaches at night. Yeah, like they just come out at night in your apartment. <laughs> That's you so to, gross. And you just have to like live with them. <laughs> That's why I'm living in Brooklyn. Yeah, yeah. Probably not. A it's probably not a difference. Um, yeah, cicadas are the ones where like you walk by the tree and they all just start like hissing. Oh yeah, that's kind of <laughs> scary. Those are terrifying. It's see, yeah, it's 
what's scarier to me is like when one sh- starts screeching and like shoots out because you walk past it. Mm. That freaks me out. I just got back from a run where like if you like go for a run too late once it gets too hot, like around here, there are just so many bugs and things flying around the trees and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, and if you run past a tree where there's a cicada, it just shoots out and it's really fucking scary. Ew. But is I do like kind of enjoy you, or is it just... no, no, no. It's just like it's scared, I think. Oh. But I, I like I do like like sitting outside in the evenings and hearing the cicadas like doing their little thing. It's it's kind of peaceful. It's just them saying sheesh. Sheesh, sheesh, sheesh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway. When did Texas turn into Louisiana? <laughs> when um global warming. Global <laughs> yeah. warming. It's Al Gore's fault. Exactly rice. Exactly um, rice. This is Hot Takes Ice Takes to show where each episode we each give one hot take. And I guess that was the warm up take. Mm-hmm. So I will think I will think of a number. It's either one, two, or three. If one of you guys is it, you go first. If neither of you guys it, then I go first. Okay, I'll go with one. I'll go with two. It was one. Ugh. Crazy. I never win. Yes. I never win. Ronick, what's do. your take? Literally one. Um, <laughs> I'm back at it with the rhyme. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Ready? Wait, let, sure. let me make sure I get the words right. I wrote it down. Okay. It's not even that long, but... Oh, God. Stop wheeling and dealing. Switch walls and ceilings. <laughs> what? Like, this is... Yeah. What? What do you mean, switch <laughs> walls and ceilings? I say... Also, it doesn't rhyme. Yeah, it does. <laughs> dealing and rhyme. ceiling. It's a ceilings. Also, you said dealing. Wheeling and dealing. <laughs> switch walls, walls and, and ceilings. ceilings. <laughs> walls and ceiling. <laughs> walls and ceiling. <laughs> Okay, Ronick, why do you want to stop wheeling wheeling and dealing and switch walls with ceiling? This is a two-part take. First of all, I have to stop wheeling and dealing. I don't like getting taken for a ride when I'm buying stuff. So no more wheeling and dealing. I feel that. And only um, straight straight talk. You want straight Uh, straight shooters? Straight talk wireless, yeah. Yeah. Um, Not sponsored. And then... Not Not sponsored. sponsored. And then... uh, the other take which is the bet the better take is that we should have at least one wall in every room should be a ceiling and by ceiling i mean you know like at school where you have like the little tiles like that are on the ceiling yeah and then you can like push them up and like store stuff and like you can get into the walls uh i want that for one wall (laughs) so i just have like unlimited storage space oh okay (sighs) <sighs> at, at first that was so convoluted and also imagine <laughs> having a ceiling fan on the wall that would be you so can dangerous. just plug in a, a fan so okay, to wall. okay well, this is my other thing i don't think ceiling fans are as dangerous as people think it would really it really really hurts to hit your head on it or to back i think it. the the ceiling fan isn't dangerous because it's on the ceiling you put yeah. it on a wall yeah. I mean, at that point, yeah. like, why don't you just get one of those, like, Put portable... Put it in a cage. Put it in a cage. They sell those. You could easily knock your eye out. Yeah. They're portable, and they plug into the wall. Well, that that was my B. That was my B argument. My first argument. Was your B ceiling team fans team? on the wall? Yeah, but my first argument was shelves. Or, like, storage space. So walls, all walls should be shelves. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> All every room should have one of the ceilings, oh. like in school, where you can push up the ceiling tile and store things. In yeah, the yeah. So basically, take cubbies from elementary school, but cover them in something. Yeah, cover okay. them with little okay. tiles. Okay. No, but David, they're, it's all on the ceiling. It's not in like the wall. No, I think he's saying take that and put. No, it I'm on saying the wall. take that and put it on a wall. So one. Oh, wall. so you can remove a panel from yeah. the wall. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. That makes a little bit more sense. I like I like it, kind of. Um, <laughs> I just he really know. wasn't confident. Also, another 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 idea. Put now that smoke detectors will be on the on the wall instead of the ceiling, it'll be easy oh, to so change when it starts beeping. 
I think you're that, saying move everything that used to be on the ceiling. To I the think wall. it's important that the smoke detector's on the ceiling. Yeah, because the the smoke rises. We'll put it at the top of the wall. <laughs> I feel like some you are. could stay some on. The, that, I feel like you happens. could stay on the ceiling. Yeah, some are. Yeah, yeah. That, like in basically in a lot of hotel rooms you go to, there will be a smoke detector on the wall. If you want to yeah. maximize the storage you're getting from the wall, wouldn't you want the smoke detector to stay on the ceiling? So it doesn't well, what up I'm a saying panel. is, like, there's going to be so much storage, so might as well replace some of it with a ceiling fan. So, so right. much storage, too much storage. Let's take some of the storage away. <laughs> yeah. And you want to put a cage around the ceiling fan? Yeah, or maybe not even do, like, a ceiling fan. Maybe just do, like, a vent. Maybe, like, do, like, a row of tiles that just a vent. So okay. then and think about blows. what what okay. happens if, like, the vent goes, all your papers are going to fly everywhere because it's no longer just blowing down. It's blowing sideways. <laughs> You're walking past it and it starts blowing and it just knocks you over. <laughs> this, this, we're not talking about gale force winds here. We're just talking about... <laughs> papers don't need gale force A light force breeze. <laughs> Ronnie, this sounds like the ugliest thing ever. Are you kidding me? You can make it so cool. Each Each panel could be like a little... Uh, a thing. I don't know. You could like, like you could paint each one. Yeah, yeah. It like could be like yeah, by paint. class. Yeah, yeah. Or you could huh. do like little patterns. You could do like checkers or chess. You can make like your wall like a a game. And how would you play the game? You put little Velcro, Velcro pieces. Yeah. <laughs> so this is a very multi-purpose it so wall. So ugly to me. Super personally ironic. It sounds really ugly. <laughs> well, especially with a caged fan on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> That's the piece that you move is just the caged fan. I move yeah. it around the Get squares. out of the cage. We'll get rid of the caged fan. Jeez. And add the vent. And add the vent. Wait, but why so why can't you also have the fan on the seal? Like what's the point of moving? Then the yeah, take wouldn't the be wall. as hot, Cameron. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's just for heat. <laughs> He wants it's he wants more air conditioning to add the heat. Yeah. Huh? He thinks the take wouldn't be as hot if the, if the ceiling fan stayed on the ceiling. It wouldn't be as hot if the ceiling fan stayed on the ceiling. The take, the take, the take would and not the oh, room. Oh, I see. I see. <laughs> I thought you were talking about the room. No. Um, I guess. I guess. I think you're you're kind of jumping into Tanner territory by bringing a take that's hot just for the sake of being hot. Well, how about this? How about this? Sure. Oh wait. <laughs> Stick with me here. There's a little okay. slot in the ceiling. And the ceiling fan is not facing out like into the room. It's like slotted into the wall, but it's like hollow and there's like a tube. It it makes sense if in my in my video it's like, it's like blowing and then it's all going through this tube and then the tube is like piped out into the room. And so it's not even touching you, you know. That didn't make any sense. But yeah, um, I guess we'll see that when, when we post the, the pod. Veronica, a lot of your takes have like have have a lot to do with like home engineering. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you said every fence should be a gate, right? Yeah. Yeah. And gave us some convoluted compound scenario. <laughs> and now, now it's every wall or every room. It have a I think we should like draw um, Ronick's ideal home using <laughs> all of his takes. <laughs> I've done that before. I've drawn. I've drawn the si the sink on this on the roof. Right, but we need a full floor plan of every fence around your house is a gate. Every <laughs> every room, room has, has a wall. Ceiling has the wall. And yeah. every roof, and your roof is a sink. Oh, and don't forget, every door is a garage door. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> that one, oh, wow, I forgot about that one. Do you just it, look around your room to make these takes? Yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> right. What about that take made you, made you think your life would be easier? For you? With the garage door? Yeah. You have to wait for the door to open. No, no, no. It's, it's a, a hand take. It's, 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 it's a, a, a mechanical one. You don't have to. That's not, worse. Is yeah, way worse. I'd rather wait and just press a button than pull up a mechanical garage door. <laughs> It'll be lightweight. I, I wish you had gone with your no more wheeling and dealing take. <laughs> That's not hot. Because I could have had something for it. It's not hot, but 
Mine, well, Ronnie, to be fair, my take is kind of similar to No More Wheeling and Dealing, to be completely honest. Oh, yeah? Yeah. To be honest with well, us? Well, then I'm glad I didn't do it. Well, it's part work. of it. So we are still take buddies. Oh, yeah. Tangential. I don't know. This take has really thrown me for a loop here. I mean, yeah. I am just really, I'm pushed to disagree, I think. I disagree. Okay. Fine. Um, Ronick, do you, I really would like to see like a 3D Zillow tour of your <laughs> I'll ideal work house. On yeah. It'll mock that up for us. Yeah. If you ever make like outrageous amounts of money, you need to build this house. I will. I will. Even if I don't make outrageous amounts of money, I'll throw my money down the drain. <laughs> this pipe dream. <laughs> well, I mean, if like building it's, your own house is something that people do who don't even make outrageous amounts of money, so yeah. it's more of putting um, your money where your mouth is. Since you have been speaking exactly. these tips, yeah. yeah, exactly. We'll do it. You better. Well, I'm down. Watch me. Okay. If yeah. you build it, I'll come back and r- agree with your take retroactively. Ooh, me Field too. Of dream style. Y- yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> I'll do that too, actually. Okay, yeah, cool. We'll postmark it. All right. Good for you, Ronick. So this it's a it's a temporary disagree for me. Okay. Is that our first ever? That's the first ever. No, we always say that, but it's probably <laughs> happened before. You've got two conditional disagreements. Yeah. yeah. I think recently there was like I don't know enough about it to agree. I'm, I'm yeah. Gonna disagree. I didn't vote <laughs> in um, Resma's coffee take on Twitter because I don't drink coffee. Right. Mm. Right. Well, that might have been actually that might have been that same episode. I think Corey gave a take that just didn't make any sense, but me and Resma had no idea <laughs> what he was talking about, so he couldn't agree. Fair. But yeah. All right, David. Pick an, I'm holding up a number. It's either one or two. You get it right. You go first. One. It was two. Ooh. <sighs> I'm going. Uh, oh, this is the first episode in a while that I haven't gone last. Nice. Here's my take. It's kind of similar to Ronick's wheeling and dealing take in that my take is if you buy anything on the internet that isn't a physical good, you are a sucker. Are you talking about NFTs? No. Any, like I'm talking about crypto, NFTs. Um, That's what I said. But well, not just NFTs. Uh, Cryptos, uh, NFTs. Uh, any this is mainly where my take resides stocks uh yeah, stocks you'll lose me at you stocks. should buy stocks over the phone with your stock <laughs> oh my god if you're not in person at the nyse don't talk it's to not me. for me but also yeah <laughs> kind of stocks too kind of stocks too you're a sucker for buying stocks i don't think that's online yeah. online online, online robin. why robin hood do you hear what happened with robin hood ronick they're little stinks yeah, but that's yeah, Robin Hood. That's not, there's so many other brokers that are fine. On the phone. <laughs> like, but you can literally do it with like fidelity and like <laughs> Okay, but mainly where my take resides is this. Workout programs online, if oh, you buy yeah. one, what are you doing? They're so there, dumb. There are so many free resources yeah. mm-hmm. to find workouts. Also, I don't know if you guys know about these, but there are like these famous influencers like um, the Ace family and like Jake Paul, who will be like, I'll show you how to become a famous YouTuber for $50 a month yeah. or something like that. Yeah, it's a scam. That's like the only YouTube ad I get. It's like all these other web gurus, they got it wrong, but I got it right. Look at this house exactly. I'm renting behind me. Yes. Ty Lopez. I, love um, I always I kind of use him with Tayo Cruz. <laughs> <laughs> He'll also light it up like it's dynamite. Yeah. <laughs> also, you guys know that guy who just kind of, I don't know if it's, th- this might be who you're talking about, David, the shirtless guy who stands in front of the pool. Yeah, there's a lot of them. I think I've seen and that he's one. jacked. Yeah. Well, those are like Forex traders, right? That are just like lame. No, mm. it's like how to never work another day in your life by making money online or something so just like, like that. Facebook yeah. ads. Like I don't need to pay Pretty much. 50 bucks a month to learn about Facebook. ads. <laughs> Pretty much. I think everyone who runs one of those, and this includes the recent, have you guys heard about the pump and dump schemes on in crypto? Oh yeah. 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 You just it's like, like David, pump, yeah. 
what will happen is like this recently happened with um phase clan you know phase clan oh yeah so a lot of their members joined on to the ambassador crew ambassador in quotes of this so you know how dogecoin was kind of like a grassroots coin that someone just made yeah and it went to the moon um a bunch of other quote unquote shit coins are trying to do that now and what they're doing is they're getting influencers and YouTubers to promote this coin. And, and they then just dump it after. the influencers get to buy in low. And then mm. once the coin finally drops and everyone buys and the price goes way, way up, all the influencers immediately sell all of their coins. And then it dies. And it dies. And everyone loses money. Except All their fans lose money except for these influencers. And they're making like 30,000 per coin. And it's almost it's, like the it's bad like, people. It's almost like it, it, that. Yeah, it's, it's almost it's really, like that. really awful. It's really bad. Wait, so Cameron, so you're talking about what does this take about? Is it about all that stuff? In, and like all this stuff for like, I can kind of group together in one category, but then there's just like workout programs. No, the workout programs, yeah. I think, is the dumbest one. That's probably. And I wish we, I, I want to go back to that, that yeah. because like, but, yeah. I think like freshman, sophomore year, I was watching a lot of workout videos. And so you start getting yeah. those ads and yeah. it's just so dumb. You're spending yeah. like 300 bucks sometimes on yeah, it's like, it's go put that money so expensive. If you really want to so put expensive. that money towards something like you just don't want to figure out your own workout plan and diet plan, go put the money towards a trainer or something. Right, like there. That's about right. the same price for a, a month of training, I think. Yeah, <laughs> at some gyms. Yeah, it's so and, dumb to buy a workout plan. And so many of these guys on YouTube will be like, they'll give you a full workout, and then they'll be like, "Do you want to buy my workout plan? Go to this." And I'm just like, "You told me everything just now." Yeah, I like, can just why would I give you more? Like, I just multiply it times five, five times a week. Right. Not so, to mention the amount of free know. workout plans online. You can just go to like bodybuilding.com. They literally yeah. have day by day. <laughs> right. Ronick, I thought you would like this take a little bit more though, because it also applies to pay to win games. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, see, I agree with the workout. I agree with pay to win. Uh, <laughs> I don't agree with stocks and stuff because I just think the problem is right now is like it's not regulated. If, if once there's like. Yeah, I won't follow you to stocks. Like that, what what, what's happening with that full pump and dump scheme is just not allowed to happen with like actual stocks. Like, right? Well, that's that's about crypto. Stocks is just like do it over the phone. Why? What? (laughs) If anything, that makes you a slower. You're you're not able to act as fast, and you lose out on money. Yeah, but then you don't you don't fill the pockets of these Robin Hood esque. Apps. You just don't use Robinhood. Use There's like, like Fidelity. Fidelity has like they. You can use a broker. Yeah, you just, honestly, you just use they a broker. Also they also have phone for you. They also have phone lines. Yeah, but why would you use them? Also, sometimes if you buy a certain stock, maybe they'll send you like a gift box, and that's you're paying for a, a physical good. Does that happen? <laughs> that doesn't yeah. happen. What are you talking about? That doesn't happen. Why would they do that? They might. They might. <laughs> they won't. <laughs> they might. They wouldn't. Oh my god! I, is your um, dad is that just like some kind of go ask your dad if he's ever received a out? gift box for investing in a stock? Oh no, my dad only does it over the phone. I thought that's how you said they'd get the gift box. <laughs> <laughs> well, he would, that's what I'm saying. He wouldn't know. He wouldn't know. What do you? He's mean? never bought online. I also, thought you home. said that if you did it over the phone, you might get a gift box. No, if you do if you do it online, you might get a gift box, and then you're not paying. You're buying something physical. So then it's good to do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, fine. Uh, that's dumb. That's a <laughs> so <laughs> disagree. I'm saying it's only okay to buy something online if you're receiving a physical good, a la Amazon Wish. Not that Amazon is good. I dislike Amazon, but like. But you mean Red a physical Bubble. online shop where you receive something in the mail for your. So yeah, like. Would like you say you would buy you... the Tom Brady TB12 method? Yeah, don't buy the huh? TB12 method is what you're saying. You don't no, think saying, you don't I'm think videos are a, yeah. are a isn't that a workout plan? Are a good? That's interesting, Ronick. That's interesting. Is the yeah. TB12 method not a workout plan? The TB12 method uh, it's a way of life. is it's a way of life. So you're buying a way of life. 
That sounds unphysical to me. It's in a book. Huh? That's why I'm saying recipe books are fine. Our videos, our videos, solid good. No, Ronick, you've got me there. It, got me what, there. If, what if somebody also, sends you a workout plan in a book? That's fine. <laughs> what and what if they charge you monthly for that book? What I'm what I'm saying is not all online. I'm okay, David. That's okay. That's don't buy a workout plan in a book. Not all <laughs> physical good purchases are good, but I'm saying all non physical purchases are. Oh, good. I got you. I got you. But Ronick, yes. you've kind of convinced me on this video thing. Like you're talking about like a TV, like a movie. Yeah. Well, that okay. blurs the lines between like a physical, like digital, or like downloading a game, like buying FIFA yeah. online. Yeah. You could put say that, that that's it. on your Xbox, which is a physical thing. I guess. I don't know. No, yeah. Ronick, you've cracked it open. You have cracked it open. What does it mean? What does it all what mean? What does it all mean? What do you mean by that? <laughs> what do you mean? All, all I know is that this means it's a disagree for me. <laughs> no! <laughs> uh, yeah, you found the exception for me. I'm also going to disagree. <laughs> oh, I guess shit. I'll disagree. I was on board until Ronick <laughs> took a sledgehammer to it. The ironic came in in the bottom of like the night. Like a wrecking ball. Nice job, Cyrus, this no. is your Miley Cyrus moment. <laughs> yeah. Okay, David, what's your take? My take is that cats are just as smart as dogs. <laughs> I'm going to preface Why? it with one fun fact. Ooh. The Treaty of Versailles was drafted by a cat. No, no, fun fact. No. no, that's a fact. It was actually it was drafted at two at what two is, p.m. It was drafted by, by a cat by army generals. Uh, mm, that drafted by cats. a cat. I, I I looked it up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But well, to go further, that. to go further, I think they're just okay. as smart as dogs because I mean, cats know their owners and their friends from strangers. They have. I mean, you can definitely tell their mood by um. Mm by their sounds by their behaviors my cat can open doors my cat lets us know when what? something is in her mouth that she thinks is worthy of reward so we'll go there and pet her they know how to locate their food like i've had to we've had to move um bell's food a lot when another cat or another animal's over like if luna's over and she knows right where sure. it is um they instinctively cover their droppings because they wouldn't want predators to track them. Nice. They land on all four Perfect. feet, which is just a boss move. Keeps their mobility up. And, um, yeah, just generally, I think people perceive them as lazy. I just think that they have selective participation. Sure. Well, a, a lot of what you're describing seem to be survival instincts as opposed to intelligence. No, I think only, like, I think only the covering the droppings was survival instincts. And the landing finding your feet. food is a survival opening instinct. a door is not survival instinct. Yeah, yeah. my cat can open. Food my is. cat can open a door. That's Jurassic Park shit. Yeah, what do you think about this? So, in I don't know when it was, but there was a joint study between six universities from the U.S., Brazil, Denmark, and um, South Africa, and they actually found that dogs have twice as many neurons in their cerebral cortex compared to cats. I would say that it sounds like you're million. pulling this out of your brain, but it seems like you've Googled it. And my, well, my I, take is I disagree with the studies. <laughs> you disagree with the studies? Yeah. Exactly. You're doing your own research? I was saying I have met plenty of dogs that are dumber than Bell. Right. It's, this sounds oh, anecdotal. I mean, the Treaty of Versailles being signed at 2 p.m. sounds <laughs> anecdotal. <laughs> <laughs> the Treaty of Versailles being signed at 2 p.m. was actually also in that same joint study between the six universities from U- U- from the U.S., Brazil, Denmark, and South Africa. So you're naming four countries, <laughs> six universities. Yeah, there, could, there maybe one of them had two of the universities. Fine. Did you ever name the universities. I don't know. It's you want me to pull up https colon backslash backslash blogs dot dot edu dot au. There are okay, breeds of cats talking, that I, can learn tricks. I was talking about this yesterday, that this is like a common thing in the workplace where like people 
just like ramble on and then just ask like yes or no at the end and then expect you to like answer the question and just so the they Ben can, Shapiro like, get you to like agree. Yeah. What do you mean by that? You just said <laughs> w- letters and then we're like no at the end. <laughs> what do you want me to say? <laughs> well, I was just asking if you want me to pull up the, the <laughs> articles that you can know which uh, which university studied it. That's, That's just academic elites i don't, I don't yeah. need them for my information you know yeah this sounds familiar <laughs> this line of thinking <laughs> sounds familiar to me hmm. but i can't quite place it that's <laughs> peculiar it is peculiar i think cats are low maintenance i guess okay, David, here's i think something. cats here's... intelligent is severely underrated well so this is something that might interest you david and i think this might be what you're talking about this, the headline of this article, sciencemag.org, I don't know how, um, I, don't know, I just don't know about the sources, but um, this says that cats rival dogs in many tests of social smarts. That's what I value. So, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's, so maybe, maybe that's what you're thinking of. That's exactly what I'm thinking. Mm-hmm. Well, in the movie Cats vs. Dogs, dogs triumphed. Ooh, that's big, David. What do you have to say to that? I'm saying that's bias in in the left wing media. <laughs> it's towards a bias dogs. towards dogs. Interesting, interesting. I'm I'm really going for the throats of the um, the higher ups, the elitists. Yeah, the elites. Yeah. I mean, if no, I especially if you if you take like I mean, obviously a golden retriever, I think would best a cat in like physical prowess. But when you get down to those mm. tiny like rat dogs that are just pointless, cats cats are so much more valuable than those. I, I yeah, I would say cats are definitely more <laughs> coy. I mean, those well, dogs so, are scared what, of everything. They don't learn tricks, and they just yip. <laughs> well, what do you value in a pet, David? Do you value ability to do things, or do you eva- do you value companionship? I have both. In my cat. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm not. But it's, okay, it's, it just seems like uh, this takes uh, a lot from an equilibrium from your values as opposed. To, it, it was a very fact based take that you gave, and then you're using your values to back it up. Yeah, my values inform the the facts that I feel. <laughs> <laughs> and facts don't care about your feelings. Yeah. They do care about mine, though. Uh, do you have any count? You, you're, you're only your only counter to the neurons thing is that it's. Have we big, ever had big. someone pull up a, a scientifically researched article just to refute a take on the podcast before? Yeah, actually, I have we? I did it to Ron before. <laughs> when whenever someone brings up like a, fa- a like a take based in fact, like you can refute it with fact. I feel like if if As you agree with that, I, I mean the I study for what where, what universe? I think we do need to know the universities. Do you want to know the universities? I think we do. I think it's well, important. We need to know the backgrounds of the universities that did the study. <laughs> the backgrounds of the universities? Yeah. Are they pro-cat or pro-dog normally? Exactly. I think right. all universities have agendas. Uh, Ronick. Give me a second. I agree with you. Yeah. Uh, okay. The Universidade... Okay, this is in Portuguese, but the Universidade Federal de, do Rio de Janeiro in Brazil... Nice. Mm. Uh, University of Richmond in Virginia. Mm-mm. Don't okay. like that. Uh, UCAL Davis. Don't like that. Ouch. UC Davis? Yikes. They're a bit extreme <laughs> and yeah. for pro dog, in, in my opinion. NorCal. Ew. <laughs> okay, um, the Zoological Museum in Copenhagen, Denmark. Wow. A I'll museum? That. That's not even a university. Yeah, like that's definitely pro dog. Okay, so you just want to stick to the universities well i guess also if we're gonna go let's go if we want to go outside domestic animals cats would definitely destroy dogs yeah what do you mean jaguars panthers cheetahs oh lions. Lions. well right i assumed we, okay yes that that is something i agree with yeah. mountain sure. lions mountain lions go crazy but they go talking, crazy ironic <laughs> are we talking about are we talking about they go stupid prowess or are we talking about intelligence <laughs> Because I don't know about intelligence. I would say that the I say intelligence are still than a wolf. <laughs> or actually, wolves you guys are, are smart. talking out of your asses. You don't know. A, you don't know a thing about this. <laughs> Do you? 
No, our no, I'm not making any claims. I, I, I'm, I, I'm, I have a take that cats are just as smart as dogs. That's my take. Like, okay. do you think the people of ancient talking- Egypt were wrong to worship cats? No. Are you talking about? Are you talking about domesticated or not, David? Let's go. Yeah, I know. I'm going domesticated. I think people, on the whole, view like cats' laziness as stupidity, and I don't think that's true. Okay, I might agree with you. It's called picking your battles. I might agree with you if you said that cats' intelligence is underrated. Yeah, well, I I said that. I don't think they're as intelligent as dogs. Depends. Just based on the facts. Dogs look dopey. Cats look coy. So you're. What, you agree with David Ronick? No, I disagree. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that guy. Oh. Ooh. I agree. I changed my oh. mind. I agree. Because <laughs> oh. cause the Zoological Museum of Denmark is not a university. <laughs> there's six universities. Do you want me to? I didn't finish the list. Do you want me to read you all the universities? No. Okay. So, do you still (laughs) agree? Yes. Yes, sir. (laughs) Yes, sir. Um, So, what? Okay, let's restate our takes, starting with David. Cats, domestic cats are just as smart as domesticated dogs. My take was that if you buy anything non physical online, you're a sucker. (laughs) And my take was stop wheeling (laughs) and dealing and put your wall. (laughs) switch turn your no. wall into a <laughs> ceiling i got it okay okay and we're gonna vote for hottest take starting with ronick then me then david does everyone know who they're voting for yes okay in three two one david ronick cameron <laughs> what how did you vote for ronick just moving everything to your wall putting well i didn't vote for cameron because his take was busted Hmm. That's fair. I've voted for busted takes in the past. Graham's peeing right now. Let, let me get him in here to say which take he thinks is hottest. You have to tell me which take, which hot take is the hottest between these three takes, okay? Move everything that's on a ceiling to your wall. <laughs> that's like ceiling fan, ceiling tiles if you have them, smoke alarm, etc. If you buy anything non-physical online, you're a sucker and you got scammed. Or cats are just as intelligent as dogs. Buying things online that aren't physical. That's you think that's the hottest take? Yeah. This was a sham vote, in my opinion. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god! This was a sham <laughs> vote, in my opinion. Yeah. A busted, yeah. a busted very, take, winning hottest take. I don't insane. agree with how the vote was carried <laughs> out. I'd like. Well, you guys could have. You guys could have stopped me. You guys could have said, let's get someone else. Ooh. Ethics were violated. So you could call someone else. I don't know. No, that's okay. I'm just... Well, that's insane. Didn't protest. expect to win that one. <laughs> I brought up the conditions in which the tiebreaker would be tiebroken, and there were no complaints. Well, now your take shouldn't have even been included, since it was a busted take. <laughs> that's not true. <laughs> but I disagreed with my own take. Yeah, it's busted. That doesn't make it busted. <laughs> it just means that it was bad. Ugh, busted. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> the bottom right take. Uh, yeah, I think if the x-axis is good and bad and the y-axis is hot and cold, then it is a... I think it's like... <laughs> it's a little... Oh, top it's like left. Left and a little... Yeah, left and hot. I think left and like, and then there should just be like a like a like a like a like a like a limbo zone for busted takes, like a z <laughs> axis. <laughs> busted takes do not exist. That is not a thing. I just thought that <laughs> with the fact that you brought up a whole scientific study to refute my take, that you that you would have voted for that because Ronix didn't make much sense. Oh, um, I don't know. Fuck off with that. I think I just <laughs> I think I just disliked Ironic Steak a little bit more. I don't know. Is that the basis? Yeah. Yeah. How much you dislike it. Well, it seemed David, it seemed like your take was really rooted in your values and your experiences, and I couldn't really refute that. You refuted my breakfast take. 
Yeah, because I thought that was factually untrue. Like, you weren't bringing up as much anecdotal evidence. With the breakfast take? Yeah. Eh. 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 Anyway. I you guys might think it's a sham, but I it it the rules were laid out and that's how it played out. Anyway, thanks for listening, everyone. Yeah. Subscribe on YouTube. <laughs> Subscribe on Apple Podcasts. Follow us on Spotify. Follow the Twitter at HTHS Pod. Follow the TikTok hot takes underscore high stakes. Yeah, that's that. Anything to say? Before we fly away. Sham. Sham. Absolutely busted episode. Yeah. (laughs) The episode's a banana republic. Busted and it is not a sham. (laughs) The title of this episode is Busted and Sham episode. (laughs) This this episode is Busted and a Sham. It's a sham. (laughs) Shambolic. Okay. Bye everyone. Bye. Champ. Plump Goops Podcast. <laughs>